It's in very early, as always with Mendelssohn, I mean, he was basically a child when he wrote all these masterpieces. He was 14, 15 when he wrote this wonderful clarinet sonata. And the second movement, when you hear the beginning of it, you can immediately tell that's Mendelssohn, that's nobody else. And it's a very unique beginning because it's only the clarinet playing. When you think now the piano could come in, does not come in. It's like a shepherd or something, or everybody would imagine something else. Very lonely, beautiful melody. And then comes the, the piano. Mendelssohn means so, so much to me. And York and I share this love for Mendelssohn. And we speak about that for years and years. We've been performing Mendelssohn together quite, quite often. And there are, there are moments in Mendelssohn's music where you, you know only he could have written such, such thing. And it is, really, it is really music which means very, very, very much to me. And this second piano concerto, in the first piano concerto, and the songs, and the clarinet sonata, and the symphonies, you know, whatever. It's, it's just really, um, it means a lot. I played it with Igor Levitt uh, once, and last year at the Heidelberg Frühling, I played it as encore in my recital with Andras Schiff. We played uh, the Brahms sonatas, and Alban Berg, he played a piece of mine. And in the end, after the concert, we played this movement, and I'm in love with this movement. It was very, very special. So I remember at the reception after, after the concert, I said, Jörg, we really should do more, because it's very, very special. And then one day he called me and he said, I orchestrated the second movement. <laughs> and now we're here. It's such a touching piece. It was always my dream to arrange it or transfigure it uh, for clarinet and string orchestra, but for harp and celesta, that's very, very important. As the name of the celesta uh, says, it, it has something divine or something from above. Mm. Um, and I added some, some notes. I thought at the beginning I write this in two days, in three days. And it took me weeks and I got more and more focused and fetishistic about, about um, every single bar. And I added new lines. I hope I serve Mendelssohn's idea with it and I hope he would agree with what I did. It's my fantasy on Mendelssohn's Andante. He did quite a remarkable thing with this. He really inherited it. And, and again, the reference is clear, it's Mendelssohn. But York's voice in this, let's call it transcription or, or orchestration is really powerful. And I couldn't think of a more wonderful partner and friend to, to you know, to share and to experience Mendelssohn together as York.